such a miracle that you would give up heaven just for me. And all I want to do is fall more in love with you. This world. Confess me in the public. Ukinikiri mbele za nini? Aisha ukinikiri mbele za nini? Na mimi nitakukiri mbele pia kama umekataa kusikia kina Lawrence. Huko hapa ni hard. I show my cards for you. Sio leo ndio unapenda sana za mwenye makumbusho. Mnalala kwa na hata wataita. Mnalala kwa nyuma mmepaka na nanyeshewa. Ninanyeshewa. Anakuja anaingia When the when Joshua was almost losing the battle, and it was in the middle of the the, 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 the midday, and they had not won the battle, how come machine the vita? The battles you are fighting, ama ina ya vita unapigana. He maisha uwa sasingine ina kupeleka katika hali ambao haupendi. Life did take you to another level that you don't understand and you don't like it. But the essence of life, it is not about finishing. But it means finishing well. It is not ending, but it is ending well. We are still in the Ecclesiastes chapter number seven, verses eight, eight seven. It has said that the end of the matter is better than the beginning thereof. Eri musho wa jambo kuliko mwanzo wake. But the concentration part of any believer around their life is one they have a lot of concentration on the beginning. Than the end of it. Praise the Lord. People want to make things look great at the beginning point. Men want to look powerful and great when they want to marry. Women want to decorate themselves better than anything else. The first time of their date with their husband or the husband to be a woman or a man can decorate himself. He can do all manner of things. But after some time you discover the same person who was making an effort to look well, to look nice, the same person as time progresses, he reduces the charisma, he reduces the, the ambition, he reduces that power of that decoration. What is this for <coughs> Sorry. Now, the question is not about ending. The question is ending well. Paul says... I have fought a good fight. That life basically is a battle. Life basically is consistent fight everywhere. There is nothing that you can get today that you get it very easy. You must fight for it. But I do pray that God is giving somebody the mind of ending and finishing well. When I just was saying, There are people today celebrating their marriage anniversaries. They say that we started in a lower note. They say we started in Ashanti. We started from the lower point. But behold today. Not that we are ending but at least we are progressing. Not that we are ending but we are, we are, we are, we are moving on to a certain level. Now the question is that you must end well. There are men in the Bible who ended up bad. They started in a great point. Paul, Saul, sorry. The Bible says the same Saul that who came in in power, power, the Bible says Saul was looking for every witch in entire Israel. He killed every witch. He, finished, he started in a high note. He began to take off in a high note, in a powerful note. He started from zero. He started powerfully. And that's why every man that you want a proper life, you must be very careful. Look detailed on how you begin. Look how you begin. Look how you begin. Because beginning point also determines the end point. Because you may begin, instead of beginning with God, you begin with pride. When I say You have seen people doing marriages. Arushi. One of the greatest things that is now even scaring guys not to do their marriages. Vijana wafanya Arushi. Wana, wana hepa, because number one, they looked at their 
partners waliangalia marafiki zao their friends how they did their marriage mtu anafanya anasema now hile yangu itakuwa si harusi kawaida hile yangu itakuwa ni harusi ya kutisha watu now you have moved from the level of a normal human being you have come to the level of pride bana zoe sana anything that you begin out of pride you must be careful that one it will end you bad but anything that gives you patience to begin praise the lord marriage that has delayed you look like it's a delay something is not working out well don't begin in pride begin in simplicity begin in humble begin that and begin with god in humility you begin as if that there are so many who have been ahead of you bana zweza begin as if you have never been there begin begin what because the way you begin determines the way you end because if you begin with pride we begin in high note you begin high time in the wedding today what in your marriages you started in a high note kafresha mwanamke kafresha mwanaume that time unachukua plastic surgery you do it you get the fake nails you put it you get the fake hair you put it you make everything fake 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 on a very married day you begin from there so you are begin from greatness you become powerful now the end result because there will be a battle to retain the same standard but as we say there are battles naturally there are battles that will make you to retain the same standard i have seen men one brother one day ameingia hapa ananiambia anasema wakati sina pesa mke wangu anisikiaje sige na pesa anielewangi anisiki anaanza in a very high note walipoanza walianza in a very high note yani vitu ni vihape si mbaya kuanza na vitu vile ambao unaua una uwezo wake because kuna mtu anasema wangu kama ana pambas There are people who have raised their children without pampas. Bana zwe san. There are those who have raised their children na uh, napkins. Napkins. And have then borrowed napkins. But as the children started growing, things started coming. Started coming, started coming, started coming, started coming. Now the end determined. Look at this. Act of Apostle chapter 20 verse 24. This is so said the same man who was talking the act of apostle Paul was speaking and said but I do not account my life of any value no precious to myself if only I may finish my course and may miss that I receive from the Lord Jesus Christ when I just said I don't count my life but my life is worth nothing to me unless I use it for finishing the work not beginning the but finishing the work finishing the work that was assigned to me by the Lord Jesus Christ the work of telling others the good news about the wonderful grace of God my work my work my work what nothing because any time that you begin in pride meaning that you are yourself when i was with son sometimes i look at people say people can take you one guy take you around in his churches he take you everywhere he shows you things he shows you his kingdom he shows you what he has he shows you what he tells you virtually everything the biggest pride remember i have spoken you remember i have only begun one year i have only begun two years look at my church i have only begun one day i have only begun when i was with son wewe jaribu you been in business for this matatu biashara ya magari for too long kuna vijana wanaanza one day amewekewa magari kutoka Mombasa mpya analeta kwa showroom showroom ni ile mpya iko smart iko kila mahali anakuta nyinyi mmekaa hapa kwa miaka nyingi muendelee kumngoja Jehovah but because people who are finishing well the spirit you understand what i'm saying Paul is saying a brother new king just to blend in the third version Paul is saying but my life is what but none of these things move me Not do I count my life dear to myself. Those things move me. Any man that want to finish well and better, number one, things don't move him. I said things don't move him. I said things don't move him. If you want to finish well, things can never count you. There are people are married women in Burundi. There are people 
people have done weddings in borrowed money borrowed everything you go for a loan for five million you go for a loan for two million you borrow to marry you borrow to sustain but as we say one of the women you have to pay stiff you say i'm fine with you any man that is genuine in his heart if you are genuine and honest and you say god i have only twenty thousand thirty thousand i want to do for them god i Give this one as an altar building that as long as this altar is built, my marriage is and you walk here in a t-shirt. The way you are. And your, your girlfriend who you're going to marry comes also the same on, on even weekday. So <laughs> so, alipofanya so and the guy was very genuine. Akakuja na 100 bob, others here alikuja na 100 bob. Alichukua 100 shillings. Akaenda akanunua bete, akaona ni nzuri pasta tuvalishe bete kuliko wajivalishe. Una unakumbuka wale watu wanajivalishaga bete lakini? Unaelewa? Have you seen those who are seen in the church? They run from one church to another church. Wanajivalisha bete wanunua kwa barabara. They just guys bought 100 50-50, wakachukua, wakakuja kwa pastor and it was on a lunch of service. And the pastor prayed for them, blessed them. After that, they went back to the house to cool and cook. Wakapika ugali na, na skuma. Husband and wife, they were in the house. Without their knowledge, they never called anybody. They didn't even make a call to anybody. One, that was precious. That was what? I said that was what? And their story goes that they have been in engagement for over two years. I don't know where they were in engagement for two years. Now, the engagement for two years, meaning there was a lot of high patience. No, one year, two years. So they went to the pastor, and the pastor posted, We tell this not to not give your family, we pay our greenhouse in Ketengela worth two million. Wakapeleko honeymoon, Siju out of the country, she worth by plane. Let me tell you, when you have a spirit of God from when your life is not worthy, that but none of these things move me. Whether you are carried in an helicopter, the other one walks to church. We don't condemn it if God has given you grace. But one thing you must also look that even when you are doing those flamboyant things, what about the house of God? Because there are people are running away from the church to go and they do weddings, kwama gardens. They go to hotels. They do, they run away from their mother church. How can you go and spend five million, ten million when you have a church somewhere where your mother, even if you don't fellowship, your mother, your mother biologically, she's a member of that particular church. And without shame, you invite a pastor of your mother's church or your father's church. No, you don't want to mama ya ni pastor wa mama yako. Kanisa ni ya matope. And pastor nakuja na matatu. You don't care. Pastor nashuka na matatu wana ingi hapo. Bada kuingi hapo na matatu. Muna piga watu wana kula. Five million is gone. Ten million is gone. Hey. What we talk about? Harus. Come here, Tulikwa. To know that to another Jew, to come here on a drone. Then come to Pepo. Hey, to listen. Hey, hey. No, skip it, Zema. But none of these things. None of what? I said none of what? Because there are things you can. There are people who seduce others by things. Mtu anachukua kifungu ya Mercedes, niliona jamaa mmoja amekerea kifungu ya Mercedes kwa kwa kifungu yake. Anatembea town hivi. So one day I was asking, "Hey brothers, now that you drive a Mercedes?" Aniambia, "Pana, lakini kifungu nilipata mahali, sio najua nakaa hivi. Nikifika kwa hoteli nikiekelea kwa meza, watu wakiniona, ai, wanasema, "Ei! Ei, umeweza sana." Yaani Umeweka kifungu, wadada wanaangalia kifungu hivi kama wakaramelio akiona mdu wakona kifungu, eh, bana swe. Unakaka mapepo, yes. Ndakubeka, yes. Yani, kwa sababu, umeona masidis, you can be carried by a masidis since the first day, but the last day you cry, not that masidis is not there. Wanaizu wa swe, sir. 
finishing well. Sema finishing well. Inasema, but none of what? Can you read this one? This is a very powerful scripture, please. Can you read it loudly, please? One, let's go. That I may finish with what? Not the disgrace. Not the Mugabe's like. Eh? Not the Gaddafi ones. You have caught in the house, naked, thrown out. I mean, what is that? You become like Kinyerere of Tanzania. You walk out and say, oh, brothers, I want to. I want to finish. And you remain a father. There are people who want to finish bad. Finish what? And the one thing I've realized is that people don't look at what you did before. People look at what you have done presently. Uh -uh. I said people don't look at the history that Lawrence was a big preacher, powerful preacher. What you have done presently is what counts. Do you know that? Tulikunyo maziwa ya moi, tukakunywa nyayo, mini, nini. Wagani moi ya naondoka, watu, hate ya weze kana, mira mo. It's like, oh, watch. Africans, you are demonic. Wana yeso siwe sana. Wana yeso siwe. Listen to this as I close. First Corinthians, chapter number nine. Verses 24 and 27. Quingle, vo up to 27. First Corinthians, chapter number nine. Verses number... 24 up to 27, kindly. In a same IV, chapter answer, verse 17. Uh, so, no, uh, sorry. Yes, okay. It's okay. 24, 20, verse 20, up to 27. In a same, uh, do you know that those who run in a race all run, but one receives the price? Run in such a way that you may obtain it. Uh huh. Everyone who competes for the price is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a perishable crown, but we for an imperishable. Uh -huh. Therefore I run thus, not with uncertainty, that I fight, not as who beats the air. Living Bible, you don't you don't you don't aimlessly fight. You fight, you fight without a plan. You say without you throw your bit uh, now in a summer, I discipline my body like an athlete, training to do what it should be. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, and I myself may be disqualified. Let's go back. I may not finish well. I may not what? They are great men of God. Somebody was giving a testimony. A man was 96 years old, and this 96 year old. They thought that this guy cannot backslide. They brought a young girl who was to cook for the old man. In the process, this guy caught up with the girl, impregnated at 96. He had served the world very well. And the man died a disgrace. So, now what the Paul was saying, that I don't want to finish as a day. Don't you realize that in a race, everyone runs. But only one who ran, who won, person get the prize. So, run to win. Uh -huh. Proceed. As all athletes are disciplined in their training, they do it to win a prize that will fade away. But we do it for an internal prize. Uh -huh. So I run with a purpose in every step. I'm not just shadow boxing. The other one says, I don't beat air. The other one says, I don't run aimlessly. I don't run what? I say, I don't run what? In other words, you don't care what will happen. You don't care how you're going to finish. Finish. If you miss one, one paper, for example, Victor or Blair, you may, may, may end up from four. We miss one exam or you miss two exam. The result probably either it will be cancelled. Is it true? Is it well? And you've been in school for all the years. On one thing, that's why even sick people, they take the paper to the hospital. Why? Because they want them to finish. They want to do what? In the same way, therefore, I do not run uncertainty without definite aim. I do not box like one beating the air and striking without adversary. 27. 
And so, but like a boxer, I buffet my body and it will ravely discipline it by hardship. I subdue it for fear that after proclaiming to the others the gospel and things pertaining to it, I myself, I should know I should become unfit, not stand the test, be approved and rejected as a counterfeit. Imagine that. Finishing as a counterfeit. There are guys who have gone, there's one kissy man who went to be a Muslim. After some times. I said, my woo, when I jua, me 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 kako Christo, in a jua Christo, at our jua, you are to do what was Zurisan. You finish as a disgrace. And I pray that may God give you grace that you shall finish well. I say, may God give you grace. Even in the middle of temptation, God shall give you grace, you shall finish well. I say you shall finish well. Even the midst of the fear, you shall finish well. Every time I read the story of Ruth and Naomi, when I read many times about the story of Ruth, to get a blessing. Unafika karibu if one Richard Mayanja gave us a testimony and that was true. Asema, kuna ndugu ambari kwa metumika sana kwa kanisa kwa mnamrefu. Atisikumuja natoka kanisani, hametoka in discuss, hamekashirika, hameenda na kumbe kuna watu wameagizo kutoka ngambo wakuja kumbariki, wamu adopt kama mtoto wao kwa sabi ya kuwa muaminifu kwa mungu wali watuma. Walipofika, waliambiwa that brother backslid two weeks ago and for over ten years the guy was faithful to serving God and I pray that anything that may make you to finish week today, we cancel them I say we cancel them I say we cancel them any information from hell, from evil world, that may speak to your mind, that you may end up as a disgrace, it shall not catch up with you. I say it shall not catch up with you. Anything shall not move you. Enticement, Paul will say, what can separate me from the love of God? What is that that can separate me from the love of God? What is it can separate me from the love of God? Some things can separate you. He says in the same, same way we have read in the same breath. In Acts of Apostles chapter number 20, 24. That what is that going to move you? What is that going to make you greater? Nothing that moves you. Things will not move you. Cars will not move you. Cities will not move you. It will not reduce you. Whether you stay on top of the mountain. Other stays on the ground. Whether you stay under grace where the great hotels in this world it will never move you to change your stand. May God give you grace that you shall not finish with us the disgrace. I say you shall not end up as a disgrace. Stand up on your feet and lift up your hand and tell God please give me the grace to finish well. And that's why we are here for this service. You know sometimes when you finish a conference like the way we did last week, sometimes you could be very lazy and say ah we want to rest. No, no, no. We want to finish strong. I said we want to finish strong. I said we want to finish the year strong. I said we want to finish the year strong. May God give all of us strength. Lift up your hand and say, Lord, give me strength. Even sometimes when I feel weak, God give me strength. Even when I am discouraged, God give me strength. Even when there are adversity, thousand men, when they began a journey, there were six hundred thousand men. Plus children and women. The historian says there were over 3 million people. Some they were saying there were over 6 million people. Who began the journey. But the Bible says those who began the journey. They did not end up except Caleb and Joshua. And you know the Bible says Caleb and Joshua. They had a different spirit. And God testified. He said, Caleb and Joshua, my servants, who have a different spirit. Meaning that when you are beginning a journey, most of the time it is not guaranteed that you finish. When you begin ministry, yesterday we read in the book of uh, um, uh, Acts of Apostles chapter 20, 24. Paul was speaking strongly concerning the end of every mother. The Bible says when we started on Monday, Ecclesiastes chapter 8, chapter 7, verse 8, when, 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 when the Bible says that the end of the mother is better off than the beginning thereof. 
the end of the matter. Everybody. That's why the coin Jesus that gave at the, at the can of Galilee, the Bible says it was more sweeter than the beginning thereof. So the end of the matter is powerful and better. But society want to insist on the beginning. But I pray that God is giving us the grace of that beginning. Praise the Lord. That you have the eyes to understand how I begin. If you begin with pride. And most of the time everybody wants to begin with pride. Somebody was giving us a statistics and said. The people have scored greatly in the universities. Are not actually the A's guys. The people who have made it better on the universities. Are the guys who scored C. They have become greater and better. I pray that the Lord will make you better and great in Jesus' name. I say the Lord will make you greater and better in Jesus' name. The beginning of it, Luke chapter 14, verse 28 to 30. I want to read this shortly out of the scripture. We are talking about the finishing well. When I just said, finishing. Have you seen people have cooked the food? May you want to pick a chakula? Bada kupika chakula wakafanya kila kitu wakafanya bidi wakafanya bidi wakafanya bidi Bada kumaliza kitu walipo maliza wakasau kueka chung Tell me the, the truth Do people celebrate the food? I am asking Do people celebrate the food? You hear a lot of complaints more than what a man who began They began in greatness in And the process of any excitement is possible to forget some things and I pray that God shall give somebody the grace not only to begin, but the same grace to end well. I said the same grace to end well. And that you look at the people in the Bible. The, even our father Abraham who began great. He trusted. The Bible says in Genesis chapter number 12, verses number 1, God said to Abraham, come out of your relatives, out of your people, and go to the land I will show you. He came out of judgment. But I look at this look. The Bible says, for which of you intending to build a tower? Does not sit down and first count the cost. Whether he has enough to do what? Uh, please talk to me, my friend. Whether he has what? You know, building, starting with the ideas are not a very big problem. Like now when I'm thinking about a price. When you hear the word cost, meaning there's a price. I say means there's a price. Anytime you hear the word a cost, that's what the Bible says. Who does not sit down and about count the cost? When you count the cost, there is a price to pay. Finishing, there must be a price. And what the price is patience. Somebody say patience. patience. I, somebody said patience, please. Patience. You are paying a price. The Bible says, Who for which of you intends to build a tower? Intending to build a tower, a place that everybody can identify themselves with. Who is that? Who is it? That before you, where you start, you say this, you say it's intense. The other one says when you start. The other one says when you begin. Beginning is not an issue in Jerimo. Everybody can begin. Every, like now, I said, we are coming to the end pass at the end of the year now. Look at the way people are responding to church. Everybody, every pastor is complaining. What to amend myself? What to akuji I mean, here on Monday, it was on Monday on Wednesday or Tuesday. Tuesday here, we were releasing some. We were praying for some members of this church who are traveling up country. Some they are taking their children get to get, you know, home. Eh? What do we call it? Get together, family gathering, family reunion, family whatever they call it. They were traveling on church. Everybody, they are traveling. So churches are empty. Churches are empty. I mean, people began. Now you can listen to these guys on, on that first. First January. When you hear people celebrating. Excitement on what somebody can do on 2018. You hear everybody shouting on the same. But let me tell you my friend. It is not about the beginning. It is about the end. How you end determines that what are the cost of because a man who has ended the job is the one who can give out the what they call a bill not. You give out the bill not. Say this is the cost I have. So the Bible says, listen this. 
But don't begin until you count the cost. Ah, I like this one. This one is very powerful. Eh? In a summer, but don't begin. Don't what? Watch out Kwanza. Watch out Kwanza. Watch out Kwanza. People begin with the church. Nikwa na tomu mfano mpasa na fikiri you have been very conversant on this one. Mutu wananza kadiza town. Ata si town ama mchini. Anatengenda kadiza anaweka flow. Anaweka viti. Anatengenda madabau. Anatengenda the office. Inakwa. Inasema now the launch day. Launch day kadiza inatangazo town ina lori hile ya campaign. Kina Susan Kika. Sakina Liki Nyanjui. You know those big, 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 big lorish. Zinatangasa unakuta wa kongolisi wako hired wameweka malongi high waist tie nusu nusu kuna zile tie wanavaa kota unaniela kwa lakini wanaweza suwe sana vyombo ni shupa yani ukisema yes the instruments are powerful and then inaitua the church on the move the church of what and even the advertisers who said we have come to make a difference some people have been joking in the city now, the really men have appeared who are going to chase the devil out of town. You hear those comments? Ah! I say, all right. Those ones who have been there, they have been, they have been massaging the devil, eh? Banaezo Sifio san. Have you ever those, heard those words? Banaezo Sifio? Mwenye wana kanize naaswa hivu? Mambwe mbwe, manini, alafu mukingia kanize mara kwani, kina mdo anasabiwa Jewish na glass. Eh? Inaanza na paum, paum, poop. Everybody and I say, Adam, one day a church began in our village and that church swept almost several churches, PAG, Outreach Gospel, all the churches, they were swept, all of them they became anxious. And uh, the pastor of that particular town was that time and we lead others follow. Yani, because there's sometimes you are unable to control your pride. As we said yesterday, that every time when you begin small, or you begin small, what you will be patient in the spirit. Patient what? In that what God controls your pride. Because anything that begin in high notch. Somebody was asking me, why do you call your conference international and there were a few people? I said, what are the few people? Few and many people, what are the difference? The Bible says two or three gather the presence of God there. It is not the presence of man, it's the presence of God. And somebody say, where the presence of God, there is a gathering of people. Yes, even the political classes where they are, there are people gather beyond. When Pope comes around in Kenya, by the way, how many people gather in one sitting when the pop appears in Kenya or any other nations in Africa? How many people gather in one day? Millions of people. So, you want to say the presence of God is there much more than what we have? And then every the time that when you want to do something greater, you must begin. The Bible says in Zechariah chapter 14, is it Zechariah? It says, Zechariah or Ezekiel? Chapter 14, it says, don't despise the humble. The other one called the humble beginning. The other one called the small beginning. The other one said, the little begin. What you begin? That's when you despise it. Who, how can God entrust you? Like now we celebrated Bishop Lai doing World Explosion Conference that has lasted now for 25 years. In Itoga, a quarter century. Who has ever sustained a conference of that nature for all those years? Number two, you must also look at the course. Conferences are very expensive. You go get singers, preachers, guest speakers coming to boost up the conference. And the conference is from Sunday to Sunday. Seven days, a cost a time. I mean, the cost. You must look at the cost. When he was beginning, there are many people who do not know that he will not end, not end. Because now, the man of God has crossed a quarter century. That is greatness. That's powerful. And I pray that God will give somebody grace in this church. That we shall end well in Jesus' name. 2017, not only you shall end well. You shall end well 2017 and begin better on 2018. I said you shall begin better. Yes, I do not despise this small beginning. Don't despise. How many people have respect for small beginning? People walk in a small church and then they look at the congregation, even a preacher, 
Anasema oh. <laughs> eh. One day when we were here The first time we were beginning I think in 2011 A Ghanaian came A young guy A Ghanaian Ameleto na rafiki yake Achi kuna kanizi kwa hapa town Nataka muenda kubiri Na ye ya mezoya kubiri Akiubiri Ni motivation The Bible says blah, blah, blah. I got to then we expected him. Kube alikuwa and I expect anakuja kute rundo ya watu akihubiri anasema give me this. Give God has directed me give me 10,000 each 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 each. Let me tell you. The big of the congregation may not necessarily mean that God is going to bless you with a lot of money. Bwana I have always given a testimony that there is a time we went to Nairobi to preach in a place that time we were newly married with my wife the year 2005. It was a conference. There were only 12 people. And in the middle of the 12 people, 10 people, that it was a conference here. In the middle of that, my brother, we got a person that who became a blessing to us to date 13 years down the line. That lady gave us a first video camera we couldn't afford. She cost accommodated her in our person. She was a big woman, the Minister of Defense, bigger bigger and better but she was in the congregation somebody was your miracle may not have the same face some god who may disguise him so that you can despise him that's what the bible said there are those who welcomed people and they did not know they welcomed angels in their houses you know what I'm saying? so the bible says do not despise a small beginning for the lord rejoices to see the work begin the Lord is just a good word. Mungu anafraya kasi kwanza. Na watu wanajua kwanza kasi ni kasi ngumu sana bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Watu wapendi kuja mahali kutapikwa. Watu wanapenda kuja mahali kumeiva, si ni kweli? Angalia watu wanafanya mazoezi kwenye kwenye ni kwenye kuna pikwa ama kwenye kumeiva. Ai. Ni watu wapo kwanza wanakuwa careless. When you care, wacha kuniangalia hivyo. The useless, idiotic, satanic, careless Lazy laugh when it's already cooked. Imagine unanda kupika, unanda kuweka kuni, pasua kuni, ndi unaeka arabu moto, ina, unanda kuwasha moto, ma arabu mwe imenyesha, unanda, unanda kamere ya mashambani, tulikuwa na pipe. There's a pipe my mother bought, and it was a plastic one, see you chuma. Pakari kama hiba mamu, one day I'll get you, nda kutaftia ya chuma, because it's everlasting. Ya plastic, ya kuwashia, all big. Because God cannot give you magonjwa wakati wale ambao wa mutolei wako free. Ata watolei yu awapei yu magonjwa so that they use the same money to service those sicknesses. Do you know why some people don't get sick? Because they are busy serving God. Exodus 23-25 The Bible says if you serve me and worship me, the other one says if you serve me, one, I'll bless your bread and your water. I'll take Away your sickness from your midst. Are you there? I'll take away your mid when you shove me, shove me, shove me. When you shove God, when you shove Him, He takes away sicknesses and He ca you cannot serve Him and at the same time you shove sickness. It's not possible. It's not possible. Women who are looking for children, they don't know the secret because the Bible says, Look at this. Let's go. Exodus 23, 25. Quickly, and then we close. Now, listen to this. Even those women who are crying, moving from one city to another city for the seat of, for the, for, from the foot of the womb. These are, these are people. Lord, thy God with the gladness. With gladness. Because you do not serve the Lord, your God, with joy and gladness of the heart. For the abundance of everything. My friend, you are supposed to serve God when those are Abundance, energy, money, everything. You serve him with gladness. With what? Gladness. Nobody coerce you. Nobody pushes you. You serve him with gladness. With what? Ukipata pesa, unataka kutembe uweke hapa kwa mfuko, utembe tau ni ukai kuku. Eh. Matua tau. Yani you are becoming a member of parliament or a... Uh, Listen to this. He says, listen to this, 48, and Asema, because you didn't serve him now, 
Therefore, if you do not serve God, you shall serve your enemies, whom the Lord will send against you. Enemies, not the devil will send them. Is it who will send them? I say, who will send them? God. Isaiah 63, verse 10. That God says, He turns to be in the side of your enemies so that they will fight you until they destroy you. Are you understand what I say? He turns and goes to your enemies. Isaiah 63, 10. Let's see this. 63, not 53. 63. It says, but when they rebel and the grief is holy, after one hour, it's 10,000. Are you rich or you are poor? Yeah? You are poor. To the end of the hill, I said, 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 Ah. Time comes when you are in an oxygen, unalipa every hour. Every please may God take you out of that one, Jesus' name. Stand up on your feet, lift up your right hand, and say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I will not despise a little beginning. What the opportunity you have given me to serve you, Lord. I pray that that opportunity will come as a blessing. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and talk to him. Say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you today. I thank you. I thank you everywhere. I thank you every day. I thank you every moment, God, in my life. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, for this day. Thank you for serving you, God, with the gladness of the heart. I thank you. I thank you, Lord. With the gladness of the heart, I thank you. The gladness of the heart, I thank you. With the gladness of the heart, I thank you. In the gladness of the heart, I thank you. Every moment of my life, Lord, I pray that God will shall give me grace. You shall give me grace. You shall make me grace. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for the offering I give this afternoon. Let it become a blessing to the kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, I will serve you with the gladness of my heart. With the gladness of my heart. In Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you, Jehovah. I thank you every now, God. I will not despise a little beginning, a small beginning that God has given me, God. I pray that in this time and moment like now, I will finish well. I will finish well. I will finish well. I will finish well. In Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord. I thank you for every opportunity God you have given us, O oh God, this day in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you praise, we give you honor, and we thank you forevermore in Jesus' mighty and precious name. Somebody say amen. Na ukutana wao walipo chomoka wakaenda Akapotea kila mtu wakaitingia kichakani Kurudi, gapata wameheka na mabete Nguliza, ah, ba, naise vipi, harus Asema, ni sawa, sawa, pasta uh, Zizi tuko tuivi Na ya naendelea kuguza hiyo bete Unuona kama ni, hey, hey Nika mulisa hiyo bete ulivalishwa lini Akasema, njoo um, nilimalisa na wazazi Nimulisa, please, give me the genesis Hii bete ulimalisa na, tulimalisa na wazazi Excuse me Ndiyo nuna tunapo maliza na wazazi Tunahuja tunamaliza ya mwisho kanisani Bwana siwe sana Na kwa kanisa ya penta kota ndiyo ngumu. Wana yesu asifiwe. So, bivile nasema, inasema, inakresi, inasema kwa mba patient in the spirit. Patient what? The devil does not care how you begin. He doesn't care how you begin. You know, people still with bomb. Wana answer na kere. Imagine, even you are boyfriend and girlfriend, vile muna kibishana kwa ukuta, nyuma, kwa cinema, hoteli, watu nakula hoteli, tukuta na java, tukuta na KFC, tukuta na merindrans, nini, nina, 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 mwana. Those things will come to an end. Reality will dawn. When you are pregnant, you are too heavy, you cannot go to KFC, you cannot run anymore, the man is not there. Yani, you cry, you scream alone, you are there alone. And even when the baby comes, anakuliza mizi kwa mbuna yuita msoto. Sikuwa na kuitisha mtoto unaleta watoto wa raka raka Mini kuwa nafikire na enjoy tu Watoto una, una mm. So I mean Patience in the spirit Me I got married when I was 31 years old And the people loved Eh hey. Baka sabitia tukasa Lawrence so oh, utazeka Baka mungina kasema huyu wa melaniwa Hata kwa and it the truth of the matter It is true from my village where I come from, I was born. Almost I can say the entirety of the entire clan, I don't know. But I can say that. Nobody ever did a wedding in your church. So you can imagine the demons I was fighting. So I must be patient. I must be what? 
can imagine I am fighting the battles for the first time and I'm the first generation. So you can imagine the, the, the pressure that is there. Can imagine the pressure that is there. Katika kwanza ndiyo wengi wanakuwa na excitement. Ngalia hata mtu wakati amezaa mtoto wa kwanza mwanamke kabla hajapata mtoto anahangaika sana. Jana mmoja akaniambia mimi nilianguka kwa sababu nilikuwa nataka kupata mtoto, alafu baadaye niendelee na maisha yangu. Sasa hivi uh, anakwenda miaka sasa 41. Akaniambia nachuta sana kwa sababu niko na watoto wawili hawana baba. Yaani baba yupo tu lakini ni absent baba lakini sioni sasa maisha yangu yanakwenda namna gani akaniambia my life now is twinned and set na shindwe mahali nitakwenda na baba ya watoto hawa sikuelewa kuna baba wawili yani watoto wawili baba wawili ambao wanatoka katika ndoa mbalimbali lakini wakati ule alikuwa anaanzishwa na kuambiwa kwamba Punguzeni anza tu pole pole na, Saizi hakuna mtu upenda kuanza Na kitu ambacho kiko sichini Ecclesiastes Mbega Ecclesiastes chapter number 7 verses number 8 Ndiyo hiyo inasema Inasema better the end of the mother Than the beginning thereof Eri mwisho wa jambu Eri mwisho The end of a thing is better than it is beginning The patient in the spirit is better than the proud in the spirit Nataka uelpate maarifa na kuelewa vizuri. Mtu yoyote akianza na ukianza na mbwembe kwa mfano ni arushi umefanya. Iko magari zimefuatana. Reception ni ya mamilioni. Watu wako pale wanakula vizuri. Wewe mwenyewe ukuna gauni ya kutoka ngambo. Tulikuwa arushi moja tukabiwa kwamba harusi gauni imetoka China. Sui Pankok. E, gaun tukambiwa iko wadi 150,000 Chiringi elfu miya moja amsin Wacha zile za kukombolewa Mtu naeza kombolewa na elfu nane, elfu tano Apereke roundry hapa Sasa Mara nyingi sana mtu kiauri Bila ulianza Biani unakuna kwa zika Hata katika kanisa Mara nyingi umekweta kuda kuna makanisa Sinaanswa, unapata kanisa Limebambwa, limewekwa viti Limewekwa uh, 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 viti vyombo vizuri kapeti ndani waimbaji wamekombele wamekondishwa kuna kanisa moja nakumbuka ilifanya hivyo wamekombosha wakongolish wambao wanapiga gitaa wanapiga drum wanapiga keyboard yani watu wote they are all skillful men wanafanya kazi ya ajabu bwana yesu asiwe sana na kawaida mwanadamu anapenda akifika mahali kama hapo anasikia kwa vizuri sana yeye ataki kujua mwanzo wa hiyo kitu imeanza namna gani yeye anataka kuona vile kimeanzisha sasa biblia inasema eli mwisho inasema kizungu inasema the end of this, this of a thing is better than the beginning mwisho wake ni afadhali lakini ukweli ni kwamba hakuna mtu ambaye leo hii kuna watu wanashauriwa sana wasichana wadogo mtu anakuletea mwanaume ama anakuletea kijana anakuletea mimi nataka kuoa mwanamke na mkininyima kuoana na yeye tutaoana tutaenda tu na tutaenda na muta tuona tena alafu namwambia jamii ni ngoja kidogo you become an enemy unakuwa adui wake anaanza kukwambia kwamba sasa wewe unitaki mema na vile najua wewe una habari na mimi lakini hatimaye baada ya mwisho wa jambo hata si mwisho ile inapoendelea ku progress baadaye mambo yanaanza kuwa opposite of the expectation ambayo mtu alikuwa naye na ni Mungu mwenyewe aka insist akasema usije ukadharau mwanzo mdogo Sakaria chapter number 4 verse number 10 anasema usidharau mwanzo mdogo na wacha ni kuambie hakuna kitu kibamke akipebwa anataka kuolewa na ndugu aperekwe kwao labda ni ngambo kaptembwa ama kijijini akute kwamba barabara ni ya matope nyumba ni ya matope watu wanapikia kuni na kuambia ukweli wengi asilimia tisaini wengi wadhadharau hakuna mwenye anaweza kuwa na excitement aseme ninaamini ya kwamba katika mahali hapa mumenileta kuna Mungu mbinguni atabadilisha maisha upside down hakuna 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 hata sasa hivi mtu anaongeaga hivyo that's why watu wengi wanapenda vitu ambavyo vimefanyika na usikia huyu ni Sakaria Mungu alikuwa anazungumza naye anamwambia anasema na Sakaria anasema for who has despised the days of small beginning kuna nyingine Biblia inasema little beginning nyingine inasema small beginning 
Alafu vingine anasema vitu vidogo hakuna mtu anapenda hivyo hakuna mtu anataka hivyo yani katika generation tunayoishi watu wote wanapenda sikiliza wana wa Israeli wakati Musa anakwenda kuwaripotia akawaambia kwamba ninataka kuondoa katika utumwani ilibidi awapatie awapatie ingredients awapatie vikubalio akawaambia katika mahali na wapeleka hakutakuwa na utumwa mahali na wapeleka kuna maziwa kuna asali alafu zaidi hapo kulikuwa na ahadi ya kwamba mtaiche katika manyumba amku jenga mtavuna mashamba amku lima amtafanya vitu yani hiyo ndio vitu watu wanataka hakuna mtu anasema nataka niende nilime mpaka nipate kitu bwana ziwe sana mara nyingine nikikaa kwa ikanisa na kipindi ninakaa ninakaa mimi saa zingine tukiwa nafanya lunch hour kuwe mtu akuwa mtu lakini tunaendelea mara nyingi tumemaliza sasa karibu takriban ya miaka saba na wakati ule tulipokuwa tukianza kuna watu waliokuja wengine wakaja 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 wengine walikuwa nafikiria kwamba huko ni kwetu tumenunua wengine wakafikiria kwamba hapa kunaendelea vizuri wengine wakaja katika hiyo kurekurika na hadi kwamba huku kuna miujiza zinafanyika watu wanapata watoto hata wale walipata watoto wale walipata miujiza makazi ma promotions wale wapata vitu vya ajabu and in fact we don't publish them hatusisemi sana na hatuzungumzii sana maana nilidiscover ya kwamba unapoendelea kuelezea watu hayo mambo hayo mara nyingi wana ma, mawazo yao na akili zao sinaenda kwa hiyo vitu wanaondoa kwa Mungu ambaye ni mwenye hiyo vitu jamani inasema na mtu kweli hata kanisa hiyo iendelee sana unakuta kwamba testimony zinaandikwa vizuri zinaandikwa vizuri wanasema hapa kulikuweko nilikuja hapa kwa hii kanisa sikuwa na mtoto baada ya kuwa hapa na baadaye nikapata mtoto na sasa mtoto ndio huyo nilikuwa sina bwana mwingine alikuwa anasema kwamba e, mimi nilikuwa nilikuja kwa hii kanisa baada ya kutoa siju mbigu nini alafu bwana mtikuwa na bwana sikuwa kwetu atuolewi sasa baadaye nilipotoka kwa mlango kuna pigiwa na mtu ndugu akanipigia simu na ndugu siko anamjua kani akambia namba hiyo nime nimeoneshwa na Mungu tu then tutakutana baadaye akaja kanisani one week akanichumbia second week tukaenda kwetu third week tukafanya pre wedding fourth week tukafanya harusi eh, 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 fifth week nikapata mimba sasa angalia mtoto ndio huyu na wawa wapendwa na nyinyi wote sasa watu wanaokuja kwa hiyo kanisa wengi hawaji kwa sababu wanakuja kwa ajili ya ule muumba mbingu ama katika matumaini ya kwenda mbinguni wanakuja kwa sababu na wawa wana taka mtoto ambaye instant ndoa instant mtoto instant kazi instant bwana asiwe sana bwana yesu asifiwe nimesoma asubuhi nikaamka nikaa nasimbia nilikuwa naambia mama nikasoma kitu cha waislamu tu wametupa hewani wakawa nimeisoma kitu ambacho wanasema kwa nini kila muislamu kuwa lazima aende haji aende hija unajua uh, Mecca wakasema kitu cha kwanza kwa sababu ya Uislamu wanakwenda Mecca ya kwanza ni kufundisha watu patience kwa sababu ukienda Mecca hata mumeenda mke na mume hamwezi lala pamoja maana hata wafuatiri wake tuliambiwa hata siku moja kwamba wakati wanafanya zaumu mke na mume wakifanya mapenzi tena wanaongezewa zaumu another 20 days more as a punishment for an act of one me as but and why hawajatenda dhambi sasa tukaambiwa kwamba hiyo inawapatia mtu patience. Sasa unaangalia kwamba mwanzo mdogo hakuna mtu anapenda hapo. Bwana ziwe sana. Na ndio unakuta kwamba kuna watu leo wako na hela. Mtu unaona anachukua Mercedes Benz, ana park nje ya nyumba ambaye anakomboa. Unakomboa nyumba 1030 ama 40 na uko na Mercedes ya 5 million ama 6 million ama gari ya kukombolewa. Yaani uko na gari kubwa umeweka nje ya nyumba ya mwenyewe. Lakini kwa sababu gani? Mtu anashindwa nitaendaje kujenga nyumba tena nianze? Ni maanze nianze ni kusuba baisfundi ni ngoja mwezi mzima. Na mwingine anakuambia Nilipata kijana mmoja pale tulikuwa tumeenda na mke wangu kwenda kufunganisha harusi. Kijana ameenda amechukua loni amechukua gari. Gari kabisa gari kubwa. Unajua umeanza na gari Land Rover Discovery wapendwa. Land Rover Discovery ni gari kubwa kabisa. Hiyo sio gari ndogo. Amechukua, amejenga kanyumba alikuwa amejenga amejenga kanyumba. Amechukua loni, amechukua sijui nini, amechukua vitu vya ajabu ajabu. Anasema na mimi ninaharakisha kwa sababu ndoa yangu imebaki miezi tatu. Nikamwambia kama ndoa ni ya hii vitu, hii ndoa kusimama itakuwa baadaye huyo kijana alipofanya hiyo shughuli mwezi mmoja ilibakia a, mbili ilibakia kabla ndoa ijafanyika akavutwa kazi hakuambia huyo msichana kamba amevutwa kazi ameacha kazi sasa alikuwa nakula kila alikuwa amesave na pamoja maana mwenye alichukua loan akanunua gari hiyo na mjua aliniambia 